Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Hey, we're finally doing an update on the 116 gallon we refurbished. As you guys most likely remember, it sprung a leak and we had to kind of redo everything. Since then, it's been doing very good. We've added more Tetra. We've added those Farlowella we got at the Ohio Cichlid Association extravaganza. Remember that? Yeah. And also, we finally got some more Anubias because some of those Anubias died when we pulled them out of here. So anyway, we're going to flip this around. We're going to show you what's going on. We got the siphon in here, and we're going to um, take the water down, do some work on it, do some upgrades, do some updates. Check it out, guys. Okay, so from top to bottom, the overhead lights are still doing great. Those guys are really helping the bamboo. Look at this bamboo, guys. We have so many sprouts of bamboo. I mean, a lot of these guys have four or five or even six coming out of them. Look at this bamboo. It's doing awesome. Going to cover up the JD here pretty soon. We're going to have to trim it, huh? Yes. So one of the main things we did is on the back is clipped a lot of those big uh, bamboos from over there on that tank and put them in the back here. And you can see, if I look at that, those roots are doing fantastic. I mean, just awesome. And um, we're gonna be adding more. We may end up clipping some of this off right from this tank and putting in the rest of those holes. Now, one of the things we're gonna do here, since this has been quite a few months hooked up, you got some residue there. We're gonna kind of clean this light fixture. This is the light fixture we got from James and Mallory, who gave us the 75. We ended up using it for this tank. Super, super awesome, working out great. The other thing is, is we have not really done a water change like at all in this tank, have we? No. No, I mean, there's so much bamboo and Anubias, awesome filtration, not a ton of fish in here. It never really gets dirty. No, I mean, it's doing awesome. Now, we did a video recently where we took the big, huge Pleco out, put them back in there because that big, huge Pleco died. She was pretty old. And uh, so we did a whole musical tanks thing. All the snails came out of this tank, went over to the Green Lantern tank. We're going to be doing an update on that pretty soon. And... Um, the albino sailfin came in here to clean the glass and he or she is doing a wonderful job. Now, usually that, if I can find, if I can find them, likes going in these big pots. So he or she is in one of these pots, can't find them right now. Now, the other ones, of course, are the vampires. There's one of them right there. Let's click that light off so there's less glare, kiddo. <clears throat> awesome there we go so now you can see we've got the vampire there and then the other one likes to hang out in this tree this is the big eucalyptus tree that we made and then again that anubius is doing great the ones that did survive when we had to you know drain it all the anubius we got we got from pet zone tropical fish because we recently got you a whole bunch of new um what did we get i don't know what did we get the <laughs> I can't keep track of what we're doing. We're doing so much around here. The new uh, Hillstream loaches. Yes, 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 yes. So he, got, he gave us an awesome deal on the Hillstream loaches. That was a while ago. By the time we do this video, that was actually a while ago for us, but probably not that long for you guys. So when we got all those Hillstream loaches, he threw in a bunch of Anubias too, gave us a great deal. So we're, they're broadleaf Anubias. They look a little different. We're going to be putting there. Now there's the Farlowella. This is the biggest Farlowella. Uh, so I want to do an update on him. What an awesome guy, huh? Not quite as big as the one we had in here before he died with the transfer. He was the only casualty. But this guy's doing awesome. Look at the streamer coming off that tail, man, huh? Isn't that neat? So the we got a whole uh, bunch of these guys. Now he's doing well and progressing and doing very good. Also known as Whiptail Catfish, Royal Farlowella, Marbled Farlowella. There's a lot of different versions. This guy, from what we looked up, is a marbled Royal Farlowella. Um, will get a little bit bigger, has that marble look to him. Not as long of a snout, and, you know, super, super cool. So love him. A lot of the other ones were small. Some of them we think are missing. They might have been casualties. We're not sure. Uh, the other ones do come up here a lot and clean out this area and then sometimes go down in these pots. So that being said, the other thing, too, is all these tetra are doing fantastic. Totally fantastic. The heaters are doing awesome. The filter's doing awesome. Everything's doing awesome. We have not had a leak. We decided to just kind of leave these on the doors. We might decide to repaint them in the summer. They actually, it actually kind of fits the whole used uh, antique kind of look, so we're not really going to do much there. Uh, so everything's working good. So the biggest thing today is we're going to do a little bit of a water change. One of the main reasons we're taking the water down is we do not want to have to take this big guy out. We're just going to take the water down to about halfway. We're going to kind of mess around, reach in here. We're going to move some of these guys around and put the new Anubias in. 
And that's really about it. And we can't wait to get that done because it's been a long time since that's been going on. Hopefully this albino guy will come out and say hello. Uh, there's the Farlowell again. Want to get another shot. We just love this guy. We've been doing a lot of shorts of a lot of our fish just to kind of advertise our channel. You know, short kind of music shorts and things like that. We did one on this guy recently. And we did one, a really, really cool one on the... Uh, galaxies or vampires as well again you can check our shorts thing out anytime you want short little musical things we're really not doing the comments on those are we because it, it gets too much it gets to be too much some of the shorts get a lot of views and it gets to be too much the comments yeah basically we put in the description hey this is a little advertised for our channel if you like it cool give it a thumbs up and come check out our playlist so you can see more of what's going on we're not really doing that to share those. Our channel is more about how we build these aquariums and things like that and lots of other things that we do. But anyway, it's more of an advertisement. So this guy, we just love. He's actually even cooler than our original one. So let's hope he gets nice and big. And then of course we have the diamond, the candy cane, the Colombians, we have the Priscilla. So we're really loving all these tetra. They're doing good, they're getting big. We're thinking that these two galaxies are actually both males because they don't really fight, but they do kind of push each other away from each other. One hangs out in the cave, one hangs out in the wood. All right, let's go look at this new Anubius. So we got the big, huge python that comes down the hallway into the laundry room. A lot of people are familiar with these. Again, we don't let the water run. We just turn it on. Um, you know, to get it started. And even though it's trickling quite slowly, we're doing all this other stuff, so we're just kind of let it go down as we're filming and doing all these other things. These are the lids. We've got the two glass angles and the two Lexane angles. Those guys continue to work out really good. We just throw them in here. We're gonna clean them and put them back on and also clean the lid with like a wet rag and stuff like that. Here's the other Anubius. Look at this, guys. He gave us six of these for about 30 bucks. Great deal. These are more of the broadleaf ones, so they kind of have these little segments on the leaf. Um, they're a little bit different than those, but he didn't have the other kind that we had and we thought, you know what, they don't have to be exactly the same. Look at this one. This one's huge. Totally beautiful. So we're going to get these guys in here. All right, guys. So here's the thing we wanted to mention this too. We've talked about this in many other videos and lots of fish tubers have talked about this. But at the end of the day, if you have not made some sort of U type of shaped tube like this, Make sure that you do it. There's a million different ways to do it. You can get it with a valve. You can get these pieces. I mean, you can literally go to any hardware store plumbing section for five to 10 bucks, make something like this. It really saves you a lot of trouble. It hangs in there. We have this set so that for our big tanks, it goes down about halfway. You can all, we can also take this off. We can also clamp it when we're here. If I'm here by myself, for instance, and I'm doing a water change because something's going on, and Jack isn't here, let's maybe say he's with his mom or he's at school or something's going on, I can just clamp this and then walk over to the sink, you know? So anyway, make one of these, they're awesome. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk a little bit about these guys and just kind of review how we did this. Here's the six plants. We, again, are using these little rubber bands. We're just using these little rubber bands. Uh, we did a whole video where we got a bunch of these at like for 99 cents at one of these clearance type of places. What was it? Uh, uh, packet Michaels. It was Michaels, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Michaels. If you look in here at this one, you'll see those black rubber bands are holding those on. Those have been on there for several months. Those are the original ones that did not die. Now, where some of the other ones died, you'll notice that there are some rubber bands that don't have anything, any plants attached. So we may just slip these new plants under those rubber bands, or we may add some more, but basically that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and show the stool here. That's the stool we're gonna use. That's a kitchen stool. Again, got it at Marks for like, what, $9.99? Yeah. We use it for the tanks all the time. It's really awesome because we can get up in. When you got a tall tank like this, I mean, look at my arms, even with my long arms. It's hard, so you gotta get up so you can get down in this tank and work on stuff. So if you don't have some kind of awesome, safe step stool, instead of like taking out the ladder and all that kind of stuff, these little plastic guys are awesome. They're made from recycled plastic for like five or 10 bucks. You can get them at resale places. All right, let's get in here and get to work. These kind of look fake because they have like that plasticky look to them. Yeah, they do, and they're really green too. Yes. Those are really nice. They're going to complement the ones we have. So we're going to go down first. He's going to kind of show you. And again, we might have to do some adjustments in that, but you can see where there was some rubber bands on that one. What we had done is we had uh, the roots kind of straddling that, and then we're just going to put some rubber bands around it. 
And as you can see with these other Anubias, the roots grow and they kind of turn green and then you really can't see the uh, rubber band very well. So, you know, we're just gonna, oh, he's, you're gonna go up there with that one? Yeah, okay, no. go up there with that. It's hard for you to reach down lower. I'll do the ones down lower. So just to give you an idea, this is how we're, this is how we're doing this. So Jack's kind of going over. Yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to reach some of those. So standing on the stool, reaching down in, and we're just gonna pop these guys in and then fill it back up. So we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. This is just gonna be kind of the fun, creative part where we put them where we want and stuff like that. Totally forgot to turn the background lights on too. If you haven't seen this tank before, we did under gravel lights up underneath these. And of course, we'll put a link in the description about how we built this as a five part series and they changed color. And then we also did the starry night lights on the back with glitter paint. So when we get it all filled back up, we'll show you all the night lights and stuff, but just an, just an added bonus, this tank was super fun. This was uh, basically being thrown in the trash, remember? Yes. And for about 250 bucks, we totally rehabbed it. That's not including the fish. Yes. Not including the fish or plants, that was just the actual tank. The plants and fish, of course, are extra. But probably if you were to buy something new like this, 116, 120 gallon tank, uh, tall, brand new, everything would be closer to 2,000. So for about one tenth um, to about an eighth, you know, we refurbished it and did that. So anyway, we'll put links in the description for all that. Let's get these guys on here. We'll show you what it looks like all done and updated. I'm glad we got the old jungle tree back. It looks really awesome. Yeah, super, super. Did a great job. Uh, one of the other things that Jack suggested is to mix some of the new plants in with the old plants, right? Yes, and they, they do look, it looks pretty neat. And you Test set up a little bit. Yeah, we did when we were moving it around. We did hit the pot, but the uh, the fish will clean that yeah, off. We'll clean that. Um, but it does look really cool. Go ahead and hit that light off just so we could see a little better. I mean, yeah, one of Jack's ideas was to kind of spread them around and mix the old with the new. So it looks really good. We're gonna finish filling this back up and get it all back together and show the lights and the whole nine yards. And uh, it's nice that we got this thing back the way that we really wanted it. Definitely looks like a nice jungle tree. And I really like those new ones, they look great. All right, Jack's putting on the finishing touches with Joseph's Tropical Tanks towel he gave us, special buffing towel for glass, right? Yes. Looks awesome, definitely having twice as many plants looks much more like a jungle tree, everything's cool. We kind of cleaned up the stones here, didn't we? Kind of push them up to the middle. Yes. Let's go ahead and turn off all the lights and uh, we can kind of see a little bit better how it looks here. Oh, that looks nice. So that's got the starry light. And we kind of straightened around. We moved some of the bamboo and we're moving everything around. Straightened everything out and everything. Looks great. Definitely good for a while here. Let's see if that, I know that albino pleco was coming around here. There's the Philoella. There's the Galaxy. The Tetra are pretty happy. Very happy how the centerpiece came out. It's kind of cool too because from all of the angles, you can see this big one in the middle I really like. I didn't realize how big that one had gotten until I looked inside. Oh, there she is. He or she, not totally sure. There's the big albino, was hanging out in the pots. And that one's probably gonna come up and go ahead and clean the inside of the glass now that we're done horsing around here. So, you know, you get these bubbles when you're filling it back up and stuff at the different levels. And that dude will go ahead and clean that all off. So there you go. I will go ahead and turn off the under gravel lights here and we'll just kind of show the folks what that looks like who have not seen it with the night lights. Still a bit of a glare because it's just daytime in the afternoon here on a Saturday, but this is the cool kind of uh, nighttime effect we get here. Yeah, still a pretty bad glare. I'll try to hit it sideways, but just so you can see these pots, the uh, Tetra go in and out of there, the Pleco go in and out of there. There's this one again, and we have the color changing on, and then of course the starry night. So that's what we get to watch at night there. Totally awesome job, buddy. I mean, we kind of did a little water change, cleaned it up, moved some things around, and uh, got the plants back on there. So there's the update on the 116. It's doing great. You did an awesome job, buddy. Thanks so much for, uh, for helping as usual. It's funny because those starry night lights, for some reason, the camera makes them blink. Yeah, they look. It's weird. It's like a, the it's like an like effect. so like advanced. It just like catches every moment. I don't know. Yeah, but they don't do they don't do anything like that. There goes the wieners. So anyway, there we go, guys. Totally awesome. We're gonna have lots more follow-ups coming up. Lots more updates coming up. 
And what I'll do is I'll actually wait till nighttime for those who have not seen it at all at night and just do a quick, uh, there's Lacey, she's upset about something. I'll do a quick nighttime one just to show people in total darkness what it looks like at the end of the video. We love our light effects, don't we? Yes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome weekend. And there's what she looks like at night. And then we can do that and just turn the stars off and just have the under gravel lights shoot up through the pots there. And of course they shoot all the way up to the ceiling because they come out of the bottom. It gives a pretty awesome effect, just in case you've never seen that. And of course we have them on the slow color changing. And you can kind of see how much better this centerpiece looks with all its new plants. Then we can also go like this and turn those back on and then use this other remote and turn those off and just have it be that. So again, if you haven't seen how we made this tank, uh, it was a total refurbish from basically a throwaway type of situation. Broken frame, uh, resealed, reframed, refurbished the stand brought back the original pump and under gravel filter and completely refurbished them and we have a really unique tank now don't we lace lace is hanging out lace do you like the tank she's just scratching herself she's like it's seven degrees and i'm freezing can we go to bed is that what you want to say enough with these fish enough with these stupid fish can we just go to bed Okay, we'll go to bed, Lace. <laughs> Good night, guys. Hope everybody has a great weekend.